Hi everyone, my name is Steven van Bellingham. Today I'm truly excited. I have the opportunity to speak with the number two of Microsoft, Jean-Philippe Courtois. He's in Belgium, he's extremely busy, so we couldn't meet up face to face, but I could ask him my favorite questions and he will answer them for us. 2016 was the start of the AI first mindset uh, at Microsoft, but also at other big technology companies. How fast do you think things will go and, and where will we see the first mind-blowing experiences as a user? So as a company, we are investing a lot against the artificial intelligence technologies. Start with infrastructure. We have the largest hyperscale cloud in the world. It continues as well with uh, clearly uh, services, services that people can build. It continues with apps like Skype as an example that you can combine with some cognitive services, emotional reaction of people, sentiment and then all the way to a personal digital assistant. And it's going to help you in your personal life, digital life. And I see a lot of fantastic utilization of that today across healthcare, education, uh, manufacturing scenarios, etc. So that's the way we think about enabling and augmenting people's capabilities with artificial intelligence. What are the biggest ethical questions that we're going to have in the world because of the changes in technology? To us, it starts with a trusted cloud, which means really having the most reliable cloud and really embracing the highest level of security, of privacy, because we, we don't mess up with our customers' data. This is theirs. And the same actually on compliance, one country at a time. This is why we have so many data centers in the world to uniquely respond to the needs so that EU citizens can keep the data in Europe. If you look at the evolutions of user interfaces, I see a movement from complex to simple to automated to augmented. Do you think that movement will be a mainstream thing or will that remain a niche thing? I was uh, welcome into an operation uh, uh, room and I could see the surgeon using HoloLens who actually have a much more precision in his surgery act with a 3D rendering of the levers, the lever and the organs of the patient. So that can help dramatically in a number of situations and I think that's what this mixed reality is all about, is augmenting the people potential and productivity in doing a better work and a better future.